Hi everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Nadia and welcome to my very first video on cooking with Nads. I love cooking for others and um, I often get asked by family and friends to share tips and tricks and my recipes with them. So here I am with um, an easy to make recipe of a fruit custard trifle. So the best tip that I can give you for this particular video is really not to use canned fruits. I typically use fresh fruits for the best effect. The only canned one that we do use are uh, canned pineapple and I'll, and I'll share with you uh, why uh, in a bit. The custard can be made ahead of time and chilled in the fridge uh, ahead. So here it goes. Please try it out and uh, share in the comments below how it turned out and please let me know uh, for with your requests and ideas what you'd like me to cook next. Uh, make sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel and for now enjoy this uh, easy to make quick simple dessert with your family and friends. What you will need for this dessert is two liters of full fat milk, three heaped tablespoons of custard powder, five tablespoons of sugar, canned pineapple slices in syrup, strawberry Swiss rolls, you can use raspberry or other flavors too if you prefer, whipped cream, and fresh fruits such as kiwis, blueberries, bananas, and or strawberries. This time around I wasn't able to find healthy strawberries so we're making it without them. You can use whatever your taste buds fancy but I find it's great with berries on top for an appealing look as well too. So to start with take half a cup of cold milk and thoroughly mix and blend it with three heaped tablespoons of custard powder. That's two. Half a cup of cold milk. Try not to make it lumpy. And as you're doing that, you can have the remaining two liters of the uh, milk boiling in a pot on the stove. So you see, we try not to have any lumps, mix all of it nicely. And this can be slowly poured into the boiling milk on the stove. Now I'd actually made this ahead of time this morning and I've already chilled it. So more custard for me sometime later since I've just mixed this. So my lovely daughter here is actually making the video for me, so thank you. Here is the pre-prepared custard. Hi. All right, so here's the custard I've prepared this morning and it's already pre-chilled. Um, now, I wanted to show you the consistency of it. Keep the custard slightly runny. It should actually coat the back of your spoon really nicely. If it ends up getting way too thick and chunky and lumpy, then it won't be as good. So here's the pre-prepared custard that we have that we're gonna put into our dish uh, later on. Now here's the Swiss rolls that I have. I have a few which we're gonna have um, to slice and there's our um, two inch deep dish. Now we're gonna make a little, maybe one centimeter or so little slices of these delicious strawberry rolls, uh, Swiss rolls. So we're going to be slicing our strawberry Swiss rolls in about one, one and a half centimeter slices and lining them up nicely and tightly in our square but, uh, dish here. You don't have to use strawberry, you can use any other flavors that you may like, raspberry, 
chocolate, uh, whatever other fruit fillings uh, of jams that you may like. You could also, if you wish, make some pound cake at home and use whatever jam you have at home and can roll up your Swiss rolls as well. Since this is a quick, easy recipe of the fruit custard trifle, um, I'm just using uh, store-bought strawberry Swiss rolls here. So as you can see, all our uh, strawberry Swiss rolls here are nicely cut and filling the base of the deep dish. So next step here is to take these canned pineapple slices and we are going to soak these delicious rolls with the syrup from within this can. Now this is the only reason that um, this is the only non-fresh fruit that I end up using because to soak these um, soak these strawberry rolls in this uh, syrup really gives a very moist and far more delicious taste to the end result as a trifle. So we're going to be can take that out for lining up later. To make it a bit faster. soaking so we're finishing up layering and coating all these strawberry Swiss roll slices with the pineapple syrup from this kind of pineapple tin and once we've done that you can now put a layer of custard onto this So now that we've finished layering our first layer of custard on our pineapple syrup soaked strawberry Swiss rolls, we can carry on to the next step, which is actually having a layer of fruits. So in this case, we can have, let's say, pineapples or, and bananas. And the top layer, if you wish, can be different fruits or a mixture of the same ones. Here I'm using pineapples. We can put a little bit of if you want a blueberry inside. You can go as creative as you like. Perhaps some bananas. So we can slice the bananas as well. Oops. A little bit left in there. up wherever we have little spots and openings now our family is quite fond of fruits so I try to fill this up with a lot of fruits and not too much sugar healthy sugar once you've layered this up with the fruits, we add another layer of custard. Now if you run short um, of custard, not to worry, it takes under 10 minutes to make and you can quickly chill it in the freezer. When I make it ahead of time, I put it in the fridge and we're good to go when I'm ready to make it. However, if you run short um, while making the recipe, while making this dish, then feel free to quickly whip some up and Put it in the freezer and you should be good to go. So here's our second layer of the custard. And I'm thinking I have just about right for this dish. So this was made from exactly two liters of full fat milk. Go. 
So now that we've finished with our second layer of the custard, and I've just got myself a kiwi here for the decoration as well, we'll top it up with some whipped cream. Now you can use the store-bought powder ones or um, I'm using like the ready to like ready chilled with the nozzle ones. You can make any nice fancy design you want or keep it simple, just do it on the edges. Just to decorate the top and then we'll finish up with some more fresh fruits. So maybe I'll just line up the sides here. Here we go. Looks like we got that working. A little accident. There we go. It was a little tight lipped in the beginning. fancy designs that you may like. If you're not a big fan of whipped cream, then you can choose jello instead if you wish. Kiwis here that we can use. Blueberries. For all you viewers, I'd love for you to give me your comments on when you've tried it out, how did it turn out. Or if you'd like to see me make something different, whether it's uh, savory or sweet, I'm game. So voila, there we have it. Our fruit custard trifle is ready to be served. If you guys enjoyed watching my video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and turn on the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video. I love it and bye!